everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video it sort of be like a part two of the one and only Christine collection from Hapa Christine I have done probably like two videos featuring one and only Christine the first one is only featuring the brown and it has all the details in there but I will put like as many details as I can in this video as well just in case if anyone missed that first part the second one I have done is like a collection um, lenses of what Jang Won Yong has been wearing from Haba Christine as well and now I have this one where I'm going to talk about the new one and only Christine color in grey now I didn't get to have this ASAP just because of some custom issues with Haba Christine and like New Zealand but I'm happy to say that I finally got the grey version which I'm, a lot, I'm sure a lot of you guys are really curious about so without further let's get the video started just a little bit of a description in terms of the one and only Christine. It's pretty much like a lightweight, subtle version of the Hapa Christine, secretive Christine. If you guys don't know what it is, it pretty much is like having that crescent moon on your eyes, but also make it look very natural at the same time, which I super, super love. And if I have to pick between secretive Christine or one and only Christine now, I can definitely tell you I will probably choose the one and only Christine at the moment, just because I love how subtle, how lightweight looking it is. It just looks much more natural looking and the best part about the whole crescent moon moving around with the one and only Christine because it's so subtle looking you can't see the crescent moon moving around a lot and it's not obvious and you don't need to fix it it doesn't matter if it's on the top or on the bottom it just looks really really beautiful on the eyes I will also give you guys like comparisons of the color with the secretive Christine as well as I talk about the colors later on so I want to talk about the diameter which is leaning much towards the medium size I guess it's not too small it's not too enlarging but I feel like it's like the perfect diameter for me the graphic diameter for this is 13.0 millimeter both the brown and gray do have them in monthly and daily contact lens now which I thought it is really great and I would probably go for the daily one because I do love my daily contact lens in terms of the design this really gives me that anime looking eyes but at the same time it doesn't look too fake at all it really gives you that sparkle on the eyes as well which I thought is beautiful and the best part about this is that it has so many different design on the eyes but yet everything just combined together and it just looks gorgeous you have that thick border on the outside in the middle you get a bit of that spiky um, pattern inside but also you get that really subtle golden crescent moon for both the grey and the browns now let's get started with the color brown with the color brown I love how the border is like dark brown and when you go on you get that golden crescent moon I love the combination of this because it really gives me a very dolly eye look but at the same time it looks so natural as if I'm not wearing any contact lens and when I look at my eyes I just feel like it really makes my eyes glow for some reason like it just feels like it just makes my eyes sparkle you know and every time I wear that brown I can't help but keep staring at my eyes because I love how gorgeous it is and looks on me and I have the grey one on me right now and I feel like with this grey it definitely gives me a different feeling compared to the brown and to be honest I thought I would like this grey one more but to be honest I actually like the brown one more because I feel like the brown one just suit me more if that makes sense with this grey one I still love it a lot it has a two different tones of grey you get that cool crescent moon but at the same time you get a combination of brown as well because when you open up from the packaging the crescent moon actually looks brown rather than grey but when you actually put it on your eyes it looks like a cool grey if that makes sense it's just, I just find it really really buzzy and the border for this is like dark black but when you go in you get a bit a combination of like darker gray as well and at the bottom again like I mentioned the crescent moon is like cool gray at the moment this crescent moon for me and you guys will see on the zoom in is that the crescent moon is actually on the top of my contact lens at the moment and I didn't even bother to actually turn it around because I didn't mind the turnout of this because I actually think it is so unique it is so beautiful like it just makes my eyes sparkle so much but I will put like all this comparison of 
this contact lens with other grey contact lens from Harper Christine as well so you guys can see the differences too but again this is a very very gorgeous contact lens and I love the diameter because honestly it's not enlarging at all so I hope you guys enjoy this quick video let me know what you guys think if you have any questions just put it down in the comment box below but yeah I'll see you guys on my next video bye guys